dear students welcome back to our channel easy explanation in this tutorial we will be learning about how to use the concept of recursion to print the sum of n natural numbers in c programming language so i hope every one of you are familiar with the concept of recursion if you do not know how recursion work please refer to the video tutorial uploaded in this channel so to solve any problem using recursion technique we have to understand the two concepts. First, we need to understand how to express the given problem in term of itself and what will be the best condi base condition for that problem. So, the base condition should terminate the recursive call. Okay. So, we have to understand two things to solve any problem using the concept of recursion. So, let us say we have n equals to 5. Then we have to print what? The sum of 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 then plus 1 okay so we have to get the total value as 15 so our program should print the result as 15 okay so this is the what we have to, we are trying to achieve using the concept of recursion the sum of n natural number so the first thing that that we need to do is express the problem in term of itself now when we generalize this term sorry when we generalize this term we'll get something like this it will be n plus let us say we have some function called as a sum sum of n minus 1 okay so n minus 1 should continue up to what up to 0 when the value of n becomes 0 you should terminate the recursive call or the recursion of this function sum should be stopped when the value of n reaches 0 so you have to specify that condition in our code so let us write one example or example code to solve this problem i'll write sum of n dot c and write it as a comment statement control v then we have a hash include stdio dot h then we have int main then int num up to what number you want to print the sum for that we'll ask the user to enter that number enter the number and then we have a scan f percentage d and then m percent num a scan of percentage d and m percent num now so will have one recursive function called as a sum in that recursive function we will pass num as the argument and return zero last statement since this function sum is supposed to return the value of sum of all natural number we need to print the values of the print the values returned by the function sum so we can write something like this for that print f Plus n total sum equals to percentage d slash n and then function call so the value returned by the function sum will be printed for line number 8 now let us define the function sum here int sum int n okay now how the recursion should work it should give you the value n plus sum of n minus 1 if the value of n is greater than 0 if the value of n is greater than 0 then it should give you the value n plus sum n minus 1 so if you can write something you can express the base condition something like this if n equals to 0 then return 0 means when the value of n reaches 0 your recursion will, will stop by returning the value 0 otherwise else you should return what you should return n plus sum of n minus 1 now let us first run this code and see the result then i will try to trace the code and try to understand the concept behind this so okay ls we have sum of n dot c so gcc sum of n dot c so again warning is there i have not declared the function prototype i have declared the function prototype here 
control B okay now program will work or compile successfully now I hope dot slash a dot out if I'll write up to 5 the sum should be how much 15 so if you will find out the sum of n natural number up to 5 we have the sum as 15 this is what the result we are getting total sum equals to 15 if I'll write dot slash a dot out sum of all the natural number up to 100 it should give you 5050 it means what the code that we have written is working perfectly fine so this is the code now let us understand the logic behind this let us say the num value is 5 then how the fun recursive function sum will calculate the sum of all the number up to 5 so we'll call the recursive function sum with with uh, argument value as a 5 now the control will come at the line number 13 in line number 13 the first comparison will be made so 5 equals to equals to 0 is false so else part will be executed in the else part we have n plus sum of n minus 1 which can be written as 5 plus sum of 4 okay 5 plus sum of 4 now we have one re one more recursion here sum of 4 so sum of 4 will be broken down broken down as something like this 4 plus sum of 3 now we have sum of 3 sum of 3 can be written as 3 plus sum of 2 and then sum of 2 can be written as 2 plus sum of 1 and sum of 1 can be written as 1 plus sum of 0 now see if the value of num becomes 0 then the function should return what the value as a 0 so function will return 0 now once once the function has returned 0 what then we'll do is will sum all these values now now for this sum of 0 is 0 so this will yield 1 plus 0 equals to 1 so this part will give you how much value 1 now sum of 1 is how much 1 now the sum of 1 is calculated here which is 1 so this label will calculate 2 plus 1 which is 3 which is what sum of 2 is how much 3 now for this value we have 3 plus 3 which is 6 now when we move one step up then we have 4 plus sum of 3 what is the sum of 3 it is 6 so it will be something like 4 plus 6 equals to 10 and the last statement we have is 5 plus sum of 4 sum of 4 is how much 10 so it will give you 5 plus 10 so eventually 15 will be returned from this function sum so in this way the recursion will work like if you have not understood like how the how to trace this thing so the c program compiler uses the concept of data structure to hold this inactive function calls so the first function call that will be pushed onto the stack will be 5 plus sum of 4 then after that 4 plus sum of 3 will be pushed into the stack after that 3 plus sum of 2 will be pushed into the stack then 2 plus sum of 1 will be pushed, to, pushed into the stack and then 1 plus sum of 0 will be pushed into the stack when the value of num returns 0 then we will start popping out all these functions call so first the value of sum of 0 will be popped out 1 plus sum of 0 will be popped out we will replace the value and in this way we will start adding the values and at last the value sum will be calculated and it will be returned into the main function and it will display the result okay in this way in this way we can use the concept of recursion to print the sum of a natural number so i'll delete this thing now so this is the code you can have good look at it i hope every one of you understood the concept if you have any queries regarding this code please mention in the comment section thank you for listening and please like share and subscribe our channel for more videos thank you very much